our last help, and you may have noticed there's a new person on this channel, that's me, hello. I'm going to be making videos every Tuesday, and my name's Katie, so let's get started. This week's theme is national holidays, like National Pancake Day or National Pretzel Day or whatever. And I googled what my national day would be, and it turns out today is National Richter Scale Day, so let's get started and talk about Richter Scale. So Richter Scale, let's talk about them. Our good old friend measuring earthquakes. For years and years now, I'll tell you, is it a tiny little earthquake? Is it a big earthquake? Who knows? Our Richter scale will tell us. Our good old Richter scale. Just have a day to commemorate how useful our Richter scale is. Good old Richter scales. Since I'd rather not sit here for five minutes and talk to you about the importance of Richter scales, I thought I'd talk to you a little about earthquake safety, because where I live, I live very, very close to fault zones in sunny Southern California, so we get a lot of earthquakes. So, here's a few things you should know when an earthquake is happening. Okay, so if the ground is moving and shaking and vibrating, then there is an earthquake happening. When you feel it's happening, try and go under a table or a desk, or just under something strong. And put your hands over your neck or your head to protect both. And protect yourself from falling objects. So if you're in an earthquake and you're outside, try it and try your best to stay away from electricity poles, telephone poles, and internet poles, and trees, and other tall things. Because they do have a chance to fall on you and that would not be good. Finally, make sure you have some sort of disaster kit ready. Something with your family that includes water, spare food, a radio, and a first aid kit, and some sort of like self-defense thing. Because if you get in a really big earthquake, it could destroy a lot of things, and you'd have to stay in like an underground shelter for a while. And it'd be hard to live off of just one jug of water and one can of tomato soup, and no radio or map or anything. So make sure you have. An emergency kit ready, just in case this is happening. And make sure your whole family knows where it is, so you, you have easy access in the case of an emergency. So that concludes my few facts about what to do in an earthquake, and I, I hope that helped in the future if you didn't know some of these things already. So, let's get started on those five facts, since I'm a new person, you should know a little bit about me. Fact number one, I am absolute. Harry Potter trash. Fact number two. I can play only the first 11 notes of Welcome to the Black Parade on the piano, and only the first 11. Fact number three. I'm training level eight in gymnastics. Fact number four. My favorite color is, surprise, surprise, black. And fact number five. My dominant hand is my left hand. Okay, that is all for this week. I'll see you next Tuesday on our last.